now I'm on the road from Louth up to the Turrell old homestead and grounds, which was a massive station back in the 1800s. Looks like we're at the lookout. Okay, let's go up and have a look. That is where I had to walk up from to get to the top of this mountain. Now I'll just give you a quick overview of the homestead and the outbuildings there before we go down and look around at the various things close up. That's the homestead you're looking at. Not that impressive, I guess, but something would have been a huge station in the old days. Well, I'm finally here. See, it says Turley Homestead. So let's go and have a look. Now I've got to find some lunch. Over here it looks like, probably in the day was a horse and buggy shed. Probably developed the tractors, cars, whatever. Okay, here we are. I believe it's all locked up. stables, horse and buggy, maybe just stables for the horses originally. Looks like similar. Tables or something. Over 
there's another shed for cars by the look, and there's the homestead. We'll go over there. Looks like a brand new massive water tank here. I don't know what they're doing with all the water if they don't live here. Something was maybe a chip pen. I guess they had everything. They were miles from anywhere. It's all we can see. We have to walk around the outside. They're building. You can see they're doing building work. I would suggest maybe slowly. Like this was probably the old meat safe room before refrigerators. I think we've done a lap. Okay, now that was the homestead area. Now I'll show you what else I found in the near area. So this is the picnic area at the end of the Warrego River Drive in Tourley National Park. Got a couple of loos as normal with the national parks. And then we've got a table, have a picnic. Actually, two tables. Sign, tell you information. Another table. The parking area. That's about it. This is a bridge they built across this flood area at the end of the Warrego River Drive at Tourley National Park. Obviously, I'd say sometime a lot of water comes through here by the divot there. And this was so they could access the other side. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. It's very dry here. Very dry and hot. Now we come to what they call is the lookout sort of a bird hide. Look at the water, if there was any. A bit different to last year, I think. Would have been when it was all in flood, you wouldn't get here. Okay, we'll take a spell and go back. Thing. Look up at the roof. All the wasp nests. Get badly bitten here, I would think. Yes, I can imagine whether it's in flood or some decent water. It'd be a nice pond down there. This is the country here. Definitely all floodplain. Uh, 
Okay. Time to get back to the car. Do some more adventuring. I just found this bridge here, this beautiful new bridge, with what looks like the fish traps at Brawarana. They put all these flow stoppers or whatever in the bottom. Very strange. You don't normally see that. Might better slow the water down. On this side is just water. Like a billabong. This looks like the old Tourly shearing shed. I don't know whether we can get inside. Big national parks. Probably locked up. Like most of it is gone. It's all the pens for the sheep. Up where the shearing equipment's gone up here, it's all gone. Everything else is gone. It's just a big empty shed. With a tour around the outside. like this is probably where they shoved the sheep out or bales of wool. Yard here where they used to keep the stock. All pens underneath. That's what they do, build it up and use underneath to keep the sheep. And at the back, we've got a chute there, possibly where the sheep came in. Lots of water tanks, access to the inside, and out to more yards. And here we have a couple of giant Nissen huts. No, maybe one Nissen hut and one standard shed. They must have kept the sheep inside at some time or other. Unless it was a machinery shed. It's up on stumps like once again, maybe the sheep were going underneath. And up top, who knows? shed next door. Maybe that was the machinery shed. Maybe a later addition. It's got nice concrete floor. Looks like maybe the wall was pressed there. Another big shed. Once again, looks like something to do with sheep. If I can get up there, we'll have a look at it. Yeah, this end. This end is a decent hut. The back bit was tacked on. Yeah, this was obviously sheep. They've got a sorting table. Because they supposedly did share an enormous amount of sheep here. Looks like just pens. Pens and yards down there. <coughs> oh, that would have been the machinery shed. There's a little motor. 
belt as they did. Here we have what looks like the old sheep washer. Try and get the dirt off them before they shear them. Make the fleece more valuable. I have found what looks like the old shearer's quarters. Now it says it's a culture camp. Looks like it was the shearer's quarters back in the day. Looks like it is now for the indigenous people. This is the point where I have come to the main homestead the wrong way. The gate in front is locked, so I have to turn around and go back. Okay, I'm circling back, as I said, to see the homestead, which I've showed you up front, rather than bore you to the end with all these other bits and pieces. So that's the end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.